Well, happening tonight, it's vocal opposition to the SAFE Act as dozens of people, maybe hundreds, including former Senate Majority Leader Joe Bruno, prepare to take over the Center Brunswick Fire Department. Several current lawmakers plan to challenge the SAFE Act and its legislative sponsors. This whole forum starts in about an hour and a half. And our Matt Markham is live at the firehouse right now. Matt, what are they hoping to accomplish with this forum tonight? Greg, exactly what you just said. The goal here is to get people who have supported or plan to support the SAFE Act, candidates to the legislature, to be voted out. Of course, you know the SAFE Act has caused a lot of controversy and maybe even more than that, confusion for gun owners, particularly hunters. And also the group that's sponsoring this forum is the Brunswick Sportsman Association, or the Sportsman's Club, I should say. They are having a lot of very influential politicians that are going to be here to try to gain support for their cause as well. Uh, really, again, it's the confusion, the frustration of the SAFE Act, and uh, probably highlighting the point that uh, the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association is making in its lawsuit that it is unconstitutional. It affects far more the average shooter, hunter, whatever, than it does the uh, often the mentally deranged person. And that's who's really behind much of this violence. And that goes back to the idea that the SAFE Act doesn't actually do enough to uh, prevent mentally ill people who may try to do the wrong thing and actually uh, uh, take matters into their own hands when it comes to violence. Uh, the meeting doesn't get started here for another hour and a half or so, but you already see some people milling and moiling here. There's the uh, Rensselaer County Sheriff's Office car that you can see. Uh, speaking of sheriffs, there's a sheriff that's going to be here from the southern tier from Chemung County uh, who's actually running for lieutenant governor with Rob Astorino under the Republican ticket. His name is Chris Moss. He'll be here speaking. And of course, Greg, you also mentioned former state Senate Majority Leader Joe Bruno, who is from Brunswick, lives here. And this will be his first public appearance since his acquittal on uh, two honest services mail fraud charges at trial about two weeks ago. We'll, of course, be in for the meeting. We'll have a wrap up for you at 11 o'clock. For now, live in Brunswick, Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.